Okay, here we have 24 potentially fertilized eggs. We hope they are. 24 eggs. The incubator only holds 22. So if there are any cracked or weird looking ones, we'll get rid of them. Uh, the incubator, Nurture Right 360, has been going for a few hours now. We'll reset it so that it knows to restart the timeline and the days. But we wanted to make sure everything was working. We've added water to the A slot. It's on a flat surface. The temperature has held. Humidity looks good. It can be adjusted with this little switch. So now we've numbered all the eggs just for fun. 1 to 22. These two look a little suspicious. So we've currently eliminated them. We've put X's on one side and O's on the other just so we can watch them turn. All of the eggs are now inside, day 21. First day, we've just put them in. The uh, turner works well. This is after 24 hours, number five. You can't really see much here. can't really make out anything. It's a little dark, maybe. A little darker up top. Day three here. We've got some veins. It's hard to see on the camera, but... So today is the end of day four, and we're gonna candle all the eggs for our first time. And we have 23 eggs in here, even though it will self-turn 22. So for the last four days, we've had one extra egg that we've kind of been turning. So our hope is, is that one of these eggs maybe is bad, we can get rid of it, and then we'll just have 22 turning themselves. There might be more than one that's not good. So we're gonna check them all out. It's also early, so we don't wanna get rid of too many too quickly because you might not catch it and it might actually be alive. All right, we're going to take the lid off and start handling. I can see in there some blood vessels forming. There's a little dot right there. Number five. Oh look, you can see that dot and it's moving around. Can you see that pretty clear? It's got a great dot here. And it is got lots of blood vessels, so it's very alive. That's great. Strangely enough, number 19. Oh yeah, this is good. Got a dot right in the middle. You can see a little bit of the air pocket filling, and then you have him right up there. So that's great. Number two. Yep, number two is a spot right there. This is 18. Oh yeah, look right there. You can just see a real big center piece. There's the chick right there. 18 looks really good. Here's number seven. Oh yeah, you can see the chick right, right in there. Seven is very good. So, here's number nine. Hmm. It's up on the top side. Oh, uh, yeah. 
tires are starting to bug out, but no, that's good too. Things. Is that 14? Yeah, this one is good, very good. Uh, 15 is great. Good job, roosters. 17. Oh yeah, you can see it right there, really good on 17. 18. Oh yeah, beautiful. I'm gonna make this one be uh, 23. I don't know about 22. We're gonna put maybe on 22. Okay, here we are at the end of day seven and we are going to candle the eggs again and we'll see if Bob uh, got any duds, any quitters, that are infertile. This is egg 22, and last time we did not think it was fertile, so we're gonna look at it again. And if it had any life, it's gone now. There's no eye, there's no blood vessels. So in a little bit, we will open this up and look at it. This is number 20. Yep, you can see the chick moving around in here. Look at this one. That's number 20. Number three has an eye clearly moving around here. Thirteen is really good. I'm gonna say nine is a baby. Ten is a yes. Harder to tell, but I think so. Number seven. Yeah. Egg 22, and live on video. Doctor we, Death. We are going to see if we did it right or wrong. So my thought is, is either it was infertile or it died in the first day or two. Um, if it's infertile, we won't see anything but the yolk. If it died in the first day or two, we might see some red specks of blood. Hopefully, there's not a seven-day-old chicken here. There you go. Oops. So this, yeah, the yolk looks big. It looked big in there. So it, either it was infertile or maybe Anyway, I don't see that it grew much at all, if any. And there's our embryo. This is number 13, and it wasn't looking real good last time. Um, so we will take a look at it here and we'll see what's going on. So you can see the dot, but it's not near as far along as all the other ones. And up here, we don't have any of the blood vessels. So it definitely looks like a quitter. So at this point, it should be far along. This is day 12. All we have is the black dot. Okay, it's day 12. We're excited. We're going to candle our eggs again. We have, um, after we eliminated egg 13, we have 21 eggs that we think could have life. So we're going to check them all out, see if we find any other quitters, any that have a blood ring, or hopefully all the chicks are developing nicely. This is number 20. Now it's going to be a lot darker now, but if you look right there, you can see the chick and you can even see him moving around. Probably wonders what this light is. You can see lots of blood vessels. Nice, healthy chick in there. Yep, there he moved. This is number three. It's a lot of 
blood vessels. That is a lot of blood vessels, and you can see them moving. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so number eight is good. This is number five. So we've looked at this one quite a bit. He's gonna be really tan. He's doing well. Number seven. Oh yeah. Oh, he just kicked. Number seven is great. This is number six. Yep, he just moved. You probably can't see it, but 14 is looking good. So that is all the eggs. I'm very, very happy because that means we had saw no, no other quitters, no other blood rings. We have 21 chicks on day 12 that are looking really, really good. So this is our egg 13 that is the quitter. Look nothing like all the other eggs at day 12. Um, had a little black dot that moved around, but, um, well, when we moved the egg, the black dot moved around, but no blood vessels anymore, and it did not move at all. So my guess is, is that it quit somewhere day five. I think we candled it on day three, and it looked good, so four or five, maybe. So we'll probably see an embryo that's that big. I don't know if it's going to stink. I don't, I've never opened an egg like this, so. We are gonna find out. Ooh, gross. So we definitely have a little chick in there. You can see its eye. That's kind of sad. You can see its eye and it was, it formed. That looks like it could be like day six or seven, maybe. Little tail and its eye. Hmm. Kind of sad.